Hello diecast collectors, today we're going to take a look at some new green light today and also some new 187 iconic replicas. I'm sure you guys can guess what that is going to be. Um, I'm going to leave some of the green light a surprise. I do have a few single models in here that we're going to unbox for you guys. And I'll also take a look at the brand new 164 uh, green light fire and rescue series one. Got a full case here, going to unbox it, see if we have any green machines. And of course, making space on the layout here is a hard thing to do, but we did make some space and we're going to take a look at it. So hopefully you guys do enjoy uh, this video. We're going to set the camera down and take a look at some singles first. These are all brand new um, green light that have been released. So hopefully you guys can use this video to see if you want to pick it up yourself. So we're going to start with this first package here. Let's open it up. Lots of nice bubble wrap use, of course. The models. All right, first up, ooh, have a nice one here. This is a 2020 Jeep Gladiator. This is a green light exclusive. New, newish casting by Green Light, releasing their first few colorways of this new casting. Very exciting. I did get the Honcho livery, the black and the gold. No particular reason why I do plan on getting most of these um, that are released, but um, yeah, very nice here. We probably will be opening this up, but taking a look at this new, newer casting for you guys. And also here we have a indie car, which is Romain Grosjean, French racing driver. I did get this one because I do not have any indie cars. Normally, I'm not really into um, indie car racing, but Romain Grosjean. Hard to not love him. He was the one that was involved in that Haas crash in Formula 1 a few years back. And I'm a Formula 1 fan, so I had to get this one. Sorry, the video cut out there, but as I was saying, I really do think we need some 164 scale uh, Formula 1 cars. Fortunately, we do not have any companies that are making any Formula 1 cars uh, at the moment. But we do have Greenlight making some Indy cars, so we will go with that. Pretty cool there. So I'm going to take a look at the second package here. These have some newer releases as well. All these being relatively new. Let's take a look here. Okay, first one out, very new casting here. This is a 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV. Very, very cool. And the USPS livery. I'm not sure if I'll be keeping this in the USPS livery or not, but either way, very cool casting. It's my first US, USPS um, car as well. See a brand new casting here, brand new release. And we have an older casting, but this is a new livery. This is the Division of Parks and Forestry 2018 Dodge Durango for New Jersey. This is a hobby exclusive as well. And this is featuring a kind of forest fire service livery. Definitely something I had to get. Really liking the forestry stuff that we're getting lately it's definitely very cool and unique and definitely going to be opening this up and taking it out for a show for you guys but before we get out to the new case we're going to take a look at a bus um, i normally do not collect much 187 scale but how to get this one is a classic bus if you are from new york city i'm not but you will have recognized this especially if you're you know, a little bit older living in new york city uh, this is a also a very collectible model. This is a TMC RTS Transit bus. These are sold out pretty much everywhere. Um, but selling these, very, very rare. Um, I actually happened to get this on an auction and did get it for above the retail price, but you know, it is super hard to find these. This box is labeled as damaged, so there's the damage there, but I think the model will be fine. Still paid a little bit for it, um, but definitely something I wanted to add to the collection. And we'll be taking a look at it, and hopefully the model is all okay, even though the box is a little banged up. But again, super rare and very expensive model. If you're trying to go on eBay and find it now, it's probably going to cost you, you know, 60, 70 bucks, uh, maybe even 90 bucks, you know, crazy prices out there. But um, definitely is pretty hard to get this for retail price. I got it for just a little bit above because of that damage there. 
All right, now we're gonna take a look at the new um, Fire and Rescue Series One. Let's do it. All right, now moving on to the one at sixty four scale Fire and Rescue Series One. I just did pre-open the case, um, just because it'd be way too hard to do on camera. But let's open it up and see what we have inside. Hopefully, we did not get no gray machines. I'm not really a big fan of gray machines, um, as they are. I do like prefer the um, realistic casting. Let's pull these out one by one and show them to you guys. There's the packaging. Fire and Rescue. Green Light Rescue. GL stands for, I'm assuming. 5901. Series 1. And we have the 1992 Ford F-350 East Brookfield, Massachusetts Forestry. Nice little pickup there. Very cool. Again, like I said, I am liking the new forestry stuff that they're releasing. Big into those kind of castings, so I'd be glad to put this one into the collection. Next one up here, the 1990 Jeep Cherokee for the Reno, Nevada Fire Department. Very cool. Looks like that's part of the safety and training division. Pretty cool cast in there. One I was definitely going for is the Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota Fire Department. Very cool there. Nice little pickup. I do like the yellow on there. Nice, again, a little break from the red. Having a nice little yellow pickup. Very nice. I think I'll take that one out the package. More modern one with the 2017 Ram 3500 Dually for the Los Angeles Fire Department. Looks to be more of like a service truck. Paramedic, actually, on the back there. It's pretty cool. Might be taking the um, decals off of this one, actually putting it into the public works area. Of course, it's really messy because I had to make room. But may add this to the public works department. You never know. Definitely a really... Uh, Popular one here, the 1986 Chevrolet C20 Custom Dulex for the Lawrenceburg, Indiana Fire Department. Got the Bresh fire truck deal going on there with all the equipment in the back. Definitely a fan favorite, a favorite of mine too, first attack unit. Very cool there. And lastly here, we have the 2020 Ford Explorer Interceptor Utility for the Chicago Fire Department. Chicago people out there will like this one. But for me, I'll probably keep this one into the package. All right, now we're going to start taking the, uh, the models out of the package. Now, if you do want to uh, fast forward and get to the models which you want to see out the package, of course, you may do so. Um, but we're going to start off here with the 187 TMC RTS Transit Bus. Make sure this is not in any damaged state. Take it out the special box here. Hopefully, you do not wreck it any more than it already is. I don't think so, though. All right, let's take this guy out. Here's the bus. We do have two little pieces of tape, which we knew. do need to do a little slicing. Let's do that now. And let's slide this one out. is rolling and let's take a closer look so MTA New York City bus we have the front the side the American flag 5249, I believe this is the same numbered bus which is in the MTA Museum because this bus is of course retired, it being a little bit older. Very cool there. Glad I have this RTS bus. Nova bus, that's what they call it. All right, we're gonna start by taking a look at the 2018 Dodge Durango. I have had a few Dodge Rangers in the past. This is a new Greenlight exclusive. Let's take a look at it. This is for New Jersey, Parks of um, Division of Parks and Forestry. Unfortunately, though, you can't really see it on the side. This is pretty unfortunate. I think on the actual 
um, cars is actually a little bit bigger. So I don't know if that's actually to scale or to size rather, because that is a really small um, decal on the side of the truck there. I mean, you cannot really read what that is. If you look at the US Forestry trucks that they've made in the past, you can actually tell, you know, it's Forest Service, but it is definitely harder to see on this Dodge Durango here. Um, not much detail, you do have the 45 on the back, um, you know, your average um, green light detailing, but otherwise than that, it pretty much is just a white Dodge Durango with that one stripe and a very, very small logo. It's a good thing it does say Forest Fire Service there, because otherwise you couldn't really tell what this is, so. Yeah, that's your Dodge Durango here, metal base, and it is actually rolling quite nicely. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna add that to the forestry um, collection. Uh, next up, we're gonna go a little bit out of order. I'm gonna jump around here, but we're gonna take a look at the 986 Chevrolet C20 Custom Deluxe for um, Lawrenceburg, Indiana. This seems to be a brush fire truck unit here. Just gonna be quickly take it out of the package here around the edges and yeah, this is a brand new series by Dean White. Hopefully we'll be doing some actual fire trucks instead of just um, pickups. Interesting wheels on this one. This does have a plastic base. Now the wheels are a little bit bigger than your average car. For, of course you know it being off-road does have those off-road wheels. This is Lawrenceburg for uh, 38 first attack unit. Here's a look at what's all in the back. A bunch of different pumps, hoses. Small little detail there, but definitely glad they added that because otherwise it would be a pretty boring model. I've got the hitch on the front, nice detail there. The lights. It is a little bit flimsy, you know, a little bit cheaper, um, but it does make sense because, you know, having all that detail in the back, which is metal, I'm going to probably put a plastic base on there, but um, yeah, that is your brush fire truck, first one from the series. Uh, we're going to jump on over and take a look at um, this one here. It's going to be Romain Grosjean, um, IndyCar, and yeah, let's open it up. Alright, so here we have the model out of the package. Excuse me there. Uh, a ton of detail on these Indy cars that Greenlight does. Greenlight does not miss on the Indy cars, that's for sure. We gotta protect their licensing. They do a great job every year. A ton of sponsors on this car. I do like the nice purple color. And overall, if you got a got a favorite racer from the, uh, the Indy car, I do recommend that you pick a um, car up. I think it would add um, something cool to your collection, you know, not something you see every day unless you're an IndyCar collector. And yeah, so looking pretty cool there. Definitely going to be a popular one. So you want to grab it while you can because you don't want to miss out on um, these nice 2021 Indy cars. Alrighty, next up we're going to go with the Jeep Gladiator from the Honcho J10 Tribute. Did already open it up here. We're going to take a look. Newer casting, released um, in 2021. Um, there's a green one. You guys can check out WTTFOR's channel if you would like to see the green one unboxed. I chose this colorway for no particular reason, but um, it does look pretty good. Nice detail on it. I do think they need a little bit of detail though on the front, so take that back a little bit. The front looks a little dull to what we sometimes see with Greenlight. Let's take a look at, you know, some other castings by Greenlight. I mean, ton of front detail, you know, good side detail and back detail, but with the Jeeps, I feel like they got a little bit lazy. I mean, barely any front detail there. You know, some nice gold side detail and a little bit of back detail. So definitely think they probably could have picked up on the front detail on this guy. Um, but maybe that was just hard for the casting. Not really sure. But hopefully we'll see better releases of this guy in the future. Like this beautiful um, Ford pickup here, which Greenlight did. A little, a little bit of dust on there, but, you know, great detail. 
Alrighty, and last one for this video, we're gonna be taking a look at this service truck. Um, let's see. Oh yes, the 2017 3500, or 2017 Ram 3500 Dually for the Los Angeles County Fire Department. Last one we're gonna be taking a look at here. Sorry, I do have the hiccups. Probably a bad time to record the video, but best time to record the video because this is probably the only time I do. So we're gonna have to deal with it for these three little models. But if you guys wanna see the whole series unbox, make sure you go check out again, WTTFOR's channel. He does a way better job than me and, um, sorry, than me uh, going over all the models. I'm not gonna open up all of them just because I only wanna open up the ones that I wanna collect. For me personally, I'm going to turn this one into a um, service vehicle for the Public Works Diorama. Always can use more red castings, and this is going to be a perfect one to add. I already have a service truck, but you can't go wrong with two. Maybe you can make it like an irrigation truck or something along those lines. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and please stay tuned for more diecast videos.